Nowadays, a lot of YouTubers and video creators are using a gimbal. Whether this is Zion Crane, the DJI Roniness, Moza. And today, what we're gonna use is a new Feotech AK4500. Let me show you what it can do by teaching you the best gimbal transitions. So, without further ado, roll intro. Okay, so ngayong araw, we are on our way sa place kung saan maganda yung background. So that we can do our first gimbal transition, which is yung orbit ramp. So, for this transition, I prefer that you go on a place kung saan plain or maganda yung background. And dapat yung kulay ng subject sa background is different. So that, mas makakita yung subject in every cut and transition. And the first thing to do is to shoot your subject with your gimbal in an orbit motion or paikot dun sa subject. Do it sa iba't ibang backgrounds. And always keep your subject in the center of the frame. And here's the before, and here's the after. The second transition is yung gimbal hyper zoom. Whether you push in or push out using your gimbal dun sa subject. And it doesn't matter kung yung subject mo is tao or bagay, then sa editing will make the clip either slower or faster depends on what kind of look you want to achieve. After that, put some motion blur sa editing to make the shots crazy looking good. The next one is the gimbal frame blocking. One of the reasons na gumagamit tayo ng gimbal is we want to introduce movement on our shots while maintaining the stability. So, for this transition, all of the shots should be in the same movement. And in every shot, Find something na pwedeng humarang sa lens. For example, in this shot, hinarangan ko yung lens kung saan gusto mo mag-start yung transition. And for the next shot, we use a tripod and a jacket for us to cover up the lens. The next one is yung Inception. Since 2018, almost all of the gimbals that are coming out of the market ay meron ng mode wherein your gimbal's axis will allow your camera to rotate 360 degrees. So, for this transition, we'll use this gimbal mode in every shot na gagawin natin. Then sa editing, it's up to you kung paano mo ikakat yung each clip. You can do a match cut. And of course, pwede ka rin mag speed ramp. That's the four gimbal transitions that I can share for this episode. I hope that you've learned something from this video. All you have to do is to follow my instructions, give some time for the editing, and after that, put some sound effects for each transitions. Talking about sound effects, I would like to thank Epidemic Sound for providing me the best tracks and sound effects for my videos. You can check the link in my description below for a 30-day free trial. And by the way, I will be giving away the gimbal that I used in this video as a sign of gratitude for all those people who support my channel. You can check my Facebook page for the mechanics. Best of luck and God bless.